So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. We are going to be talking about eFootball once again before we do dive into an actual series. Um, you know, and then we'll get things going. Because look, the facts are folks, eFootball for myself as an offline predominant player, it's not grasping me. And this game has been out a while now and I'm just not seeing... It's not even enough like events and stuff. It's the way Konami are kind of going about it. Um, so I'm doing this video to give you guys my honest feedback about the game. As an offline player, how do I feel about it? And also another thing that we're going to discuss, which is this. Um, and we'll get into this. It's madness, to be honest. And it shows you the direction this game has gone as opposed to something like Pez, right? Don't get me wrong. Pez... Fantastic game, and eFootball does have elements that are better than PES, like PES 21, PES 20. I think the dribbling on eFootball is great, but there are elements that we know. It's just, it's mobile friendly, it's pick up and play, and there are a lot of FIFA elements to this game now. I was hoping that Konami weren't going to go in that direction. But anyway, let's dive into this. Let me know your honest feedback as well. If you are an offline player, what do you make? of eFootball. The reason I'm doing these videos, folks, is to, yes, get them out there. I don't care who sees it. 10 people see it. Obviously, I'm going to get more than 10 people seeing my videos. I've got subscribers, but the point is, the more people that put stuff out like this, maybe Konami will listen. I doubt they will, uh, but you do what you do. So the first thing, obviously, is the UI, right? This has never changed since the game came out. They changed the colors a little bit, right? Remember that? It used to be a really vibrant blue and they dumbed down that color. Still got the yellows and the pinks. Still here, look, why we got pink up here? I don't understand the pinkness. But either way, the UI is still exactly the same. It still drives me up the absolute wall. Uh, I, I'd still to this day, a year and a half later when this game came out, when did this game come out? 2021, at the end of 21? So yeah, over a year and a half ago now. It's nearly two years since this game actually launched. And when it came out, we know it was a disaster. They haven't updated the UI. It's still exactly the same. It's still very hard to navigate through each menu. The filtering is not great either when it comes to searching for players. You still can't search, by the way, folks, like an actual, what is it, like a nation? Because some of these events, sometimes it's asking you to play with a team in the J League, right? Well, you can't go in there and search just the J League. You have to search individual teams. So that in itself is a pain in the hole. Yes, Konami? So please, very simple. Add a filter so that we can filter, you know, the Premier League only. So we can pick all Premier League players, all Skybet players, or all La Liga, all City A. Ah, we don't want to have to go through every individual team. It's just winding me up. So there we go. That's the first point. The UI is still pants. I don't like it. And uh, yeah, there's not enough filtering when it comes to kind of deciding on this, that and the other players. You know, this stuff right here with the whole team selection, it's fine. We've got used to it. It is what it is. It serves its purpose. I mean, you know, it would be nice to see the front of the kit as well, because sometimes there's different designs. You can see the front when you click it. But my point is, you know, there in your face. Um, so, yeah, I, the game plan as well. It's, you know, look. It's a mobile friendly game and I know this and I have to understand that and we have to understand that that the reason they're not going to go mental UI wise is because they are trying to make it so simple from the mobile to the console to PC. It's all the same um, and the fact that they aren't doing separate games now means this is what we're left with. It's not like FIFA Mobile. FIFA Mobile has its own separate game, own separate UI. It looks really nice. I've played FIFA Mobile. I think it's a, a solid game. And yeah, UI-wise, it looks amazingly 50,000 million times better than this, if that makes sense. So there we go. So that's the first point. UI is still not good enough. Uh, I don't even know which game this is we're watching here, but we're going to let this run through. I was playing someone. This was this is actually a while ago. This was when I was called the Pink Panther. So yeah, um, I, I can't even remember who we're facing here. And I don't even know. I may have even shown this match before, uh, but it's something to watch in the background. But anyway... So I'm not happy with that. You know, it's it's just all too all over the place. I don't know what I was doing here. Oh, yes, I changed this. This is when I decided to play 
on assisted. So this was a while ago, and I said, you know what? I'm sick and tired. I'm going to go and play on, on just assisted. So you guys are going to watch me now playing on assisted. I didn't like it, to be honest, because I still feel like full manual is, is generally the way to play this game because you have the freedom to put it anywhere. Um, but I just decided for this match to play on the old assisted. Look at that. Right through the pie hole. Now, regarding to the gameplay itself, this is my biggest problem with eFootball currently, folks, is the problem everyone's using the same players, okay? This is the way the game's kind of gone. Um, like, it's got to the point now where, obviously, these Player of the Weeks come out every single week, right? And that's how Konami make the revenue. That's how they make the money. People get these players and they whack them in the team, right? And they've all got A form. And I'm telling you, the worst thing to do in this game or play against is a goalkeeper who is on A form. And he is like Spider-Man in goal. I mean, he's saving literally everything. I mean, it's insane. And it's not enjoyable because I don't know how many long shots you guys have scored in this game. But against people online, yeah, maybe against the AI it's different. But playing people online... I can't score from long range to save my life because if they've got a full A-rated goalkeeper in goal every single match, the chances are bar none. It's just not going to happen. It's very much like um, like there. Just saves it all the time. Very much like uh, having all the legends in goal, right? You've got Oliver Kahn. You've got Peter Schmeichel. These goalies are phenomenal. So difficult to beat half the time. And yes, I'm having to do the same thing. I put Peter Schmeichel in my team every single time. Because there's no advantage to using any other goalie, you know? Is this game pay to win? It's getting that way, folks. It really is. That was an absolute shocker um, of a challenge there. But honestly, it is. It's getting to the point where it is pay to win. Because, yes, if you have a fully stacked legend team, you are probably going to beat someone who doesn't have a fully stacked team, even if you're not that great, because you've got the extra perks and everything else. Spending that little bit of money gives you those players... The problem with Konami is they're not giving us any flexibility with uh, some of these events. Like, they're all the same. They're all recycled. I've not, I've yet to see, you know, a two-star or a three-star only event. Like, they're not there in this game. Filtering, once again, matchmaking. These are all problems that Konami are not letting, letting us know about. They're not telling us about. The facts are, if you are playing on pass assist, right, there's four pass assists, okay? There's pass assist one which is the most assisted. Then there's two, which is obviously lesser. Then there's three, which is like the default one for PES 21. So that's the lesser assisted. And then you've got four where they switch off the assists and the game is, you know, free reigns. You shouldn't be taking on people. If you're playing on pass assist one, you should take on people who are on pass assist one. If you're on two, you should take on two. Three versus three, four versus four. And then obviously if you wanted to turn it off, you can turn it off. We have no option to do that. There's not even a manual only option, which we used to have back in the day of PES when you used to go online. You could actually filter, if you guys didn't know this and didn't play PES 21, 20, 19, etc. You could turn on a filter that factored that in. So you wouldn't have manual versus assisted, etc. That's still not in this game. It still doesn't exist. Konami have not done anything at all regarding the filters and it's it's infuriating you know i've played you guys add subscribers right on on stream we played a full manual match with a couple of you guys now every match i've played even if there's been a little bit of lag and delay i've thoroughly enjoyed it 100 percent. look at this absolute filth just walking it in here i don't know what he was doing um but yeah there's such a better feeling when the game is like that, but I can't play with anyone online like that because there's no filters for it. So there's another problem. Konami, sort it out. Give us the filters, please, okay? To play manual versus manual or one versus one, not pass assist three versus pass assist one. There is a massive advantage for that person who's playing on the more assisted settings. So that's another problem that I really think Konami have to address, right? There's not enough events with flexibility of players to use. It's all the same. It is becoming pay to win because of that fact. You know, there are so many players in this game now. People probably have, some of them, close to a thousand players in your squad. You're not going to be using the lesser players because there's just no point to it. Yeah? All those goalies saving everything. It's a pain in the backside. 
Not enough to do, Konami. Not enough to do. When it comes to rewards as well, I mean, yes, yeah, they've added the skill points. So, okay, right, we've added the skill points in there. So now we can develop that. So they've added a little bit. Um, but rewards are still kind of the same. I mean, you get GP. I don't know about you guys, but I've got, you know, millions of worth of GP. I'm just not using. It's just sitting there. Not a lot's going on because it is all about the coins because the coins generates the money for Konami. They're not going to give away the coins. But this is why they need more events. If you did a full manual event, Konami, where... If you play five matches, you get maybe uh, 300 coins on manual. I guarantee you people would try it out. People don't mind trying different events if you give them the option. I know they have the Spanish events, right? And they have the LA, was it? The Liga MX events where you have to use those players. But it's still not the same because a lot of people don't even bother with those because you're not going to put them in your squad. If I'm playing up at... A a top quality team that's got, all right, Nesta at the back, right? And then the Beckenbauer's in there, Van Dijk, and then in the middle you've got Kimmich and you've got Messi, Neymar's and the Mbappes, right? Why am I going to use a Liga MX team against someone like that? I'm not. But if Konami put a two, three-star skill gap in there and said you can only use three-star players, the games would feel a lot less chaotic. They would, because that's why this game feels very fast, and high tempo at times and arcadey it's because we're all playing with the best players and literally just spamming x and that's what makes this game so so fast right just slow it down give us a chance to play with the lesser players but give us better rewards that's how it should work use lesser players get better rewards use the top players you're not going to get as good rewards right find a balance konami i don't know i'm just throwing ideas out here but something to negate that problem you know, as I stated at the beginning, I am an offline guy. I don't play online a ton. This is honestly the most I've ever played online. Uh, honestly, ever, to be fair. I mean, I'm trying to walk this in again. I love to walk the ball in, as you guys know. Um, but yeah, this is the most I've ever played a football game online because there's nothing else to do, right? There's no edit mode. There's no master league right now. There's no offline competitions. So I'm forcing myself to play it. So yeah, I'm going to give you my thoughts, opinions about it, and what I would like to see as a, you know that type of player. Right through the pie hole there. I mean, you can see there the responsiveness. There are still problems, folks, with the responsiveness of this game. It can feel fantastic one minute, absolutely pants the other. I've already put a video out about scripting and momentum. It is in the game. It does exist. I don't care what anyone says. Um... I don't know why it's there. I know they're trying to balance things out, but it, it just shouldn't. I mean, if these are going to be a skill-based... A skill-based? A skill-based football game where the winner who actually plays the best wins, great. But it isn't right now. It isn't. And the reason why is because we're going to show you that video. So that's that out of the way. Now, we're going we're gonna to pause this very quickly and go over to this, right? So this is basically what this is showcasing defending wise on eFootball. And this was, when was this done? This was May 3rd. So this wasn't far along ago, far along ago. It wasn't, you get what I'm saying. Uh, so to demonstrate how automated eFootball is at the moment, I wanted to prove it. This is uh, this guy right here, go give him a follow. Um, oh, he actually follows me. So there you go, very nice. We might see his video pop up. <laughs> uh, I wanted to prove it to my followers on my Twitch channel for 90 minutes. My opponent couldn't score a single goal without me even touching the controller to defend. So, here he is, right? This is him with the ball, right? He loses it, and as you can see, there he is on stream. He is now not touching the controller. This is his team basically doing the work for him. His team is in the white. He's still not touching it. The game is just doing it all for him. And then his player gets in the way, and bosh, there he goes. He gets the ball back. This is not the direction that I want this game to go, folks. 100% not. I mean, who wants a game to basically do it for you? Maybe there are people in the world that want that. But this is a proof in the pudding that, yeah, Konami, yeah, they have some good AI, as in the AI are smart, and they don't just stand there like they do in FIFA. Don't get me wrong. FIFA's AI are pretty crap. They just stand there. But I wouldn't want it like this. If you are not touching the controller, there is no chance, no chance that your team should be doing everything for you. You know, and he even mentioned when he scrolled down afterwards, uh, he was explaining to uh, the English speaking subscribers 
that he wasn't touching the controller all game and they couldn't score a single goal against him. Is that right? Should it be in the game? No, I purely, I purely, purely uh, put this down to it now being on the mobile. And on mobile, they've had to make things so much more automated. Before this came out on mobile, folks, this game was actually, it did require more skill. It simply did. I mean, I've come up against people online who can't play football to save their life. I mean, they can't. You can tell when you play against someone straight off the bat. If they're spamming long balls, they don't know how to play possession. They're just lucking it out and looking to just play that long ball over the top with Mbappe, to be honest. Yet, I'm struggling to beat them 1-2-3-0 because I can't put the ball in the net sometimes because, yeah, this is what happens. And the goalies are another problem. Um, and as you scroll down, uh, he said, and to conclude my statement, Konami should wake up, definitely solve the server issues and bring matchmaking or matchmaking back to normal. Uh, thanks, you saved my day. I can't breathe from laughing. Um, and this guy, he had a point. I mean, until people stop spending money in the game, they will not change this. Uh, and also this game is developed for mobile. So auto defending is a must for that platform. There it is. There it is. It's sad for me to say, uh, but FIFA is miles ahead this year. I wouldn't go that far. Uh, not gameplay wise, but look, that is the facts. Um, the true gaming here, I don't mind the AI positioning during defense, but the action should be done by a person controlling the player with the cursor. If not, the game becomes completely dead. Yes, 100%. And then there was someone tagging me down here about that. Um, but yeah, it, it, it is. You, you, I don't mind like that. I don't mind the AI positioning themselves smartly. That's perfectly fine, right? It's them tackling for you. It's, it's them automatically reading those passes. Now, Barry mentioned on stream the other day that he said that playing on Fuma, actually, the defending is more automated than playing on assisted. Don't know if that's the case. I have no idea. This guy wasn't playing on Fuma. As you can tell with by his pass bar, he's playing on assisted. So uh, the game's still doing it for you. So whether that's true or not, I don't know. Massive problem, you know what I mean? Um, and that's why I need Master League, folks, because I don't have to deal with this. I don't play online anymore with this nonsense. It's just not fun, you know? It's just not. Whether they're good rewards or not, this isn't acceptable for a game that's meant to require some element of skill. But you let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts below. And that's, that's pretty much it, folks. I mean, I'm not going to go mental here and go on and on and on about things, but the facts are... For a game that's now been out for nearly two years, by the come well, by the time it's September, it will be, I think, two years, right? It came out in 21? I'm pretty sure. It hasn't evolved in, in, enough. You know, graphically, it still looks very, very similar um, to what came out. I'm not even talking about graphics now. In fact, we've forgotten about graphics. We've gone from PES 21, which was a very, very nice looking game, to this. And we've, always, we've almost forgotten about the graphics because there's other things to talk about. So the defending is far too automated. The UI is still pants. There's not enough filtering options still. Pass assist one shouldn't be playing against pass assist three. I can't get a good connection half the time. I have a 500 meg connection download wise, 20 meg upload. It should be enough to get a solid connection. But half the time I'm just fighting with controls. So until Konami sort all these issues out, I'm never going to praise this game heavily. I mean, I still enjoy the gameplay, but I prefer playing the AI uh, than I do people. And that's nothing against people. It's just the way the game's programmed and people are playing a certain way. So anyway, let me know your thoughts below. We will be back with a series today. Not today. Uh, this week at some point. I've just got to decide what I want to do. Uh, but we'll get back to it. We'll get back to a Master League and forget this for a while. Uh, we'll still stream this, by the way, but we will start a proper series so we can stop pulling the air out. Sound good? All right. Until next time, let me know your thoughts below. Leave a comment with what you want to see improved. Maybe top three. I don't know if you can keep it that short. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.